We've got a two-car garage here, which is dark, but it's a standard two-car garage. But attached to it, this would make a great studio space, I think. I'm not sure of your size needs, but this is a pretty good size room. This is a closet there. I'm not sure what they were using it for, but it's probably about the size of a two-car garage right behind your two-car garage. And these houses are not one behind the other. They're next door to each other. So this is a shared backyard. I was just in the little crafts one. It's very cute. So laundry hook up out here. Mommy, mommy, Access to a bedroom that's upstairs. But this part is so adorable. Completely updated. So it's got two bedrooms down, and then the one bedroom upstairs. And this bathroom is really done nicely too. Really cute tiling. It just needs an enclosure, and it's open to that bathroom, a bedroom. Here's very cute. Uh, it has its own bathroom, so either one could be a master. So I'll go look at the other house now. So this is what that house that just came out of looks like from the front. This is the other house, so it's right next door, and it has a garage in the front. So if you were to rent this, you'd get a lot more money out of it because you're renting a full house on its own lot. You could even divide the lot right it's down the middle. Nice so you've got a two-car garage here, which is dark, but it's a standard two-car garage. But attached to it, this would make a great studio space, I think. I'm not sure of your size needs, but this is a pretty good size room. This is a closet there. I'm not sure what they were using it for, but it's probably about the size of a two-car garage right behind your two-car garage. And these houses are not one behind the other. They're next door to each other. So this is a shared backyard. I was just in the little crafts one. It's very cute. Now going up into the house on the left, which would be the south. You can see there's the second story that's that got the uh, third bedroom in it. Not a bad place to be. Actually, I would buy this if I were in your position. Sorry. Really cutely updated. So here's the living room of the more mid-century looking house, which opens into an eating kitchen. There's a lot of light. The house next door has been done up so it's not crappy or anything. Yeah, it's a good sized kitchen. Nice stove. And again you got laundry inside. So both units have laundry inside which is really nice. And storage in the laundry room. This is just so cute the way they set it up. All right, so this one's got a wall beater. The floor is fabulous condition. And we've got closets in the hallway. And they updated this bathroom. Got square tiles, and a double vanity, double mirrors. Again, you'd want to put some kind of enclosure here. And the toilet is behind the door. So this is the two bedroom. Uh, you know, these are decent sized rooms. Not huge, but if you count this one as the uh, rental property, you have three of your own in the house that has more character. And I think this is probably a half one. So there it is. And you know, with the size of these lots, you could technically uh, get permission from the city and split it into two and sell one of them if you didn't want both. So it's got a lot of potential.